Welcome to the 49ers You've Got Mail podcast, and this is the West Virginia edition of the show. I'm joined by wide receivers Brandon Ayuk and Jawan Jennings, and we're going to learn a little bit about them and their take on being on the road with the team for about 10 days. Uh, so you guys have both been here before uh, during COVID times. How different is West Virginia this time around? A lot different. Um, <laughs> You know, for one that comes to mind, there's no, there's no connect signs. And so it's like walking in the building, I'm just so used to seeing people just right there, just ready, you know, to swab your nose and give you your connect sign. And now it's just like normal, normal way of life. Uh, it, it, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> Not everybody gets to experience the unique decor of this place. What does the inside of your rooms look like? Crazy wallpaper, canopy beds, what did you guys get? It's just like walking into a, like a museum or something, like like an old museum, like this would be an old hotel museum or something. I feel like it's like when you walk into, into Granny's house and she got the plastic on the couch and <laughs> she got the roses on the wallpaper. All right, so the goal of this podcast is to get to know you guys better on the field, better off the field. Juwan, friend of yours told me to ask you about this, E-Man. Um, you didn't always start off as a wide receiver. He told me you actually played quarterback at Tennessee at one point. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Yeah, why don't you tell us about that? I was a quarterback at one point. Um, I was, I thought I was going to be Lamar Jackson, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm more of a... Uh, Jamal <clears throat> Jennings. Yeah, yeah. A quarterback was fun, but um, I like the new challenges that come with wide receiver and uh, the new relationships uh, built that, that, that's come a long way, and uh, I wouldn't change it for nothing. What brought about the change? Like, was it your decision, or Coach had you switch positions? It was, it was kind of both of us. Coaches was just like, you could you could red shirt, and I didn't want to red shirt. I was stubborn, um, young kid, fire, fire in my soul, ready to, you know, go three and out to the NFL, and... Uh, um, we ended up making the decision just, you know, go to receiver. So you, I didn't have to red shirt, and, and that's where we are now. Never look back? Never look back. B.A., you were a running back at one point too, right? Mm-hmm. Can you talk us about talk about that change? Well, so growing up, I played, I played my first position was running back. I was short. I was, like, I was, like, really short my whole life. Like, when I first started playing football, I was smaller than everybody. But I was fast though, so that was my that was really the only position I could play. That was the position I wanted to play. I liked uh, Ladanian Tomlinson, so I was number 21, just a little dude running around playing running back. And then I got to high school, and I was still small, like I was, I was way too small. So I had to play, uh, I had to play corner. I went and played corner, and I played corner all my, like all through high school. I never played receiver till my first year of college. So similar situation, just it's kind of I feel like everybody got different situations on how they. Um, Ended up where they wanted yeah, to be. Yeah, ended up in the, at the position that they wanted to play. Um, it's kind of natural. Like he, like he's obviously a natural receiver, um, and it just kind of. I, th I think everybody has a different story, but everybody, most a lot of people, I would say, play different positions and kind of ended up where they are. What did you take from being a running back that you kind of still apply to the wide receiver position that you're in now? The yak. Everybody talks about it. The yak. Transitioning back into the young running back after I catch the football, so. Yeah, you guys are both very physical wide receivers. Is it? Do you get enjoyment out of just breaking those tackles and taking off all those all the yaks? You gotta love that part of the game. You try to get as many yards as you can, you know, after the catch. It's like a challenge. I love challenges. If you can't tell. Uh, Juwan, you had that 32-yard catch and run in the last game. Can you talk us through that? It was fun. Um, I didn't know I was going to get hit that hard, but then I got hit. And then uh, I just saw it kind of opening, and uh, I, I took off. And, you know, it's just you're not really thinking. You're just running, trying to get in the end zone as fast as possible. But it, was, it, it it's been fun, and I just can't wait to keep it rolling. Um, how are you guys feeling headed into week six? Ten days away from home leading up until that. Two games on the road, really on the road. Um, but we're kind of getting into the thick of the season, to that midpoint where we're starting to figure out who we are, um, starting to figure out um, how to best prepare each and every week and go out there and put the best thing on, that we, the best plays and the best game possible on film. Um, but 
you start to get back in a rhythm. You start to really get a feel for your feet, your feel for the game, just to feel for playing football again. Because, you know, um, training camp and preseason, it's really not the same. You got to get into a rhythm. You got to, it's a certain feeling. I think every player feels a certain way when they start reaching where they want to be. Um, and it's really just only a feeling. You can only feel it and continue to come out here and work um, to chase after that. So I think we're all in a good spot and realizing what we can do. And we're just wanting to continue to get better. Um, so guys, take us inside the receiver room. Juwan, you're always like dancing, happy. Uh, BA, you're a little more on the chill side. Take us through everybody in that room. I'm always up. When I wake up and get moving, I just like to keep, you know, the energy level up. You know, I don't always have to be, you know, so loud, but I do like music. And so I'm always thinking about lyrics. It could be a random song from eight years ago, you know. I, it just, it just keeps me going, and then, you know, we go on the means, you know, and then you focus there. It's just the transition and uh, just being able to balance out, you know, life and, and football. I feel like balance, like when you talk about everybody in the room, like that was a perfect word, balance. Just I feel like everybody balances each other out. We got a whole bunch of different personalities, like you said. I'm chill. I'm a little bit reserved, but, you know, I, I like to have fun and vibe with the guys, too. You got Jawan. He's always vibing. You know, he gonna, he, he's going to pick you up. He's natural pick you up. Um, Debo, Energy, uh, Ray Ray. Ray Ray's a real, like, Ray Ray's a character. Like, funny dude. I don't think we've gotten to see too much of that yet. We haven't seen a lot of Ray Ray, but he's a funny, just a funny dude. Um, and, then, and the young guys, you know, they're starting to uh, come out. You start to see what type of people they are and what type of guys they are. So uh, we just got to run with a bunch of guys that enjoy being around each other and, and have fun together. So this is kind of a perfect way to start our fan questions. Let's go. Sammy from Tacoma asks, if you're trying to get a raise from a parent in your allowance, what's the best way you would pitch that idea? I think I had a similar situation when I was uh, younger and I used to get, um, I didn't get allowance, but I would get like lunch money and my parents would give me like five for the, for the week. I would get $25 for the week. So pretty much $5 a day and like California, like you're not getting anything for like no lunch for five dollars a day. So I would have, like, I, would, I went to my parents and I'm like, like I just, I just acted as if like I was just like I come home, I'm starving, like just act like I'm starving every single day. Like five dollars and working enough, it's, it's not cutting it for me. So I need at least seven to eight dollars. Well, I said nine because I knew I wanted seven to eight, so I said I need nine dollars. And then you know they're gonna bring you down a little yeah, bit to so seven, gotta, so I got right to where I wanted to be. Gotta ask for more than you actually want. It's a land All right. Yeah. Juwan, how would you pitch it? I would definitely use grades. Like, if if I'm a kid back in the day, mama, look, I'm a, I'm gonna say B's too, cause <laughs> A's is too tough. But A's and B's, let's go. Like, I need some bread. Like, All right, next one, Nick from San Jose. We've seen some cool handshakes on the field. How often do you guys practice those, and how much thought do you put into them? And can you show us yours? We got two of them now. Yeah, we got two, we got two of them. Y'all want to see it? Let's What's going on? The new one. The new one? No, we do the old one. We can't we show the old one. I can't show the new one. All right, we do the new one. It's just real simple. Uh, hold on. We got the cameras rolling. All right. Real smooth. Take now we in the bag. bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, real quick. I love that. How, how do you guys come up with them? We just be playing around, messing around, just doing it. Like, we'll be out there at practice. The defense, it's a defensive period, and we'll just be messing around, getting ready for handshakes, touchdown celebrations, just It's usually B.A. Debo coming up with them. Okay. Ray, Ray, Ray. I like Ray Ray's and Debo's, too. They, get a, <laughs> they do a little something before the game. So we got one more. Michael from Sunnyvale. You get to know your teammates pretty well on trips like this. Who would you not room with and why? And who'd be your top pick for a roommate? The person I would definitely not want to room with if I had to would just be like probably like an O lineman or a D lineman. Mm. You know, yeah, y'all know. <laughs> Somebody uh, who is lactose and still eats dairy. That is a very specific. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you asked. <laughs> okay, BA, I got one specifically for, for you. Ethan from Long Beach wants to know since you're a gamer, Will you rank your teammates in Madden? I play normally like the Madden culprits that I had to whip on are D Demo, 38 Baby, uh, Mooney, Charles, 
Um, Sam Womack says he plays, but he don't really play. He just be capping. So if I had to rank those, I would probably go. I would probably go. Uh, I would probably go Mooney, Charles, and then Demo. Are you the best? Yeah. All right. So what is one interesting fact that maybe somebody doesn't know about you? I just got big into photography, so like I bought a camera, and I'm like, and I'm starting to get into it, like editing, taking pictures, because I want to like have like a whole photo book, like kind of like how my mom did of me and my siblings when we were younger. So I want to just have like all digital pictures of my son and my family, like throughout the years, and just see how much better I got as a photographer, and also being able to see the growth in my son and my family at the same time. So that's something that I've been big on. That's really cool. Uh, we gave you a disposable camera for. Photo date. Had you played around with a disposable before? No. So I've seen one before. I like. I used to have. I would have one in my in my um, in my parents' house. Like I didn't even know what it was. I knew it was a camera, but I didn't know like if I was taking pictures, if it worked, or how it how it really worked. So using that that for that time, that's, it was that was cool. All right. Well, thank you both for tuning in to 49ers. You've got mail. If you want to be featured on the next episode, make sure to submit your questions on our website. And don't forget to subscribe to Apple Podcasts and Spotify so you can hear our latest episodes. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you. So.